and hard, and a diving stop by Isak Paredes to throw in time to a tire sprinter. Being ready at the hot corner, very important. This ball is broke, one hop, nice jump up Paredes. Knew he had enough time to fire it over there, but that's what he's going to have to do at the hot corner, as well as provide some power in the sure, line. With two outs, uh -oh. and he drives one out toward right center field. This one headed toward the Ivy. It's gone! Cody Bellinger whacks a two-run homer, and the Cubs score two with two out in the first. Well, I said it, Wayne. He has to be a factor, especially from the left side. Gets a slider. He gets out in front, and he just absolutely barrels it. This is the Cody Bellinger of all, being able to get his foot down, recognizing that pitch mid-flight and just squaring it. retired the first five. Now he gets a strikeout to end the second. He up a couple of two-out singles, but that was all. It's a ground ball to the hole. It's short backhand by Jimenez, and the off-balance throw pulls Guerrero off the bat. But the tag is there to end the inning. Jimenez showing off his range, and Guerrero on the other end shows off his. In the first two innings. A little tapper to the left side. Tough play for Paredes with bare hands and throws in time to get him in. Hendricks going to have to buy Paredes a state then in the night. He's been absolutely outstanding. Knew he had time. He got around the baseball, made his mind up that he was going to bare hand it, got a good grip, and fired an absolute strike. He strikes out here to end the third. So Hendricks cruising early. Worked his second one, two, three. Two strikes on Alejandro Kirk, who rolls one back to Hendricks. Throws it to second a little bit low, and Horner can't make the play. Everybody's safe. Could have been a double play ball, especially with Kirk running, but a low throw by Hendricks. And that ball lands literally on top of the bag, and he never is able to receive it in his hand. Really tough play, and he says, that's my fault. i got to give you a better throw. Another chance for Hendricks on another play ball. This time a better throw, and then Swanson mishandles it. They do get the out at second base, but Swanson dropped the ball in the transfer. Weird stuff happening on the infield here in this inning. Now slow roller, a tough play. Swanson comes in, bare hands, and has nothing on that throw. He throws it into the dugout. A run scores as Horwitz comes home. And now the other runner, Wagner, will be placed at third base. Clement goes to second and what a weird inning here for Dansby Swanson. Yeah he just had the middle finger and hard to throw and get any emphasis on that as soon as he whips it out he knows he's going to be it. Here's Jimenez with a fly ball out toward left center field way back and this ball is gone to tie the game. It's the second homer for Leo Jimenez and it's two to two here in the fifth. Uh, he knew as soon as he hit that ball Wayne he wasn't coming back. Now he's starting to show some serious power middle in. This is a sinker that's supposed to be in and really not a bad pitch. But Jimenez with the quick hands the barrel beats him to the spot souvenir city. Bounces this one softly. Paredes charges hard, throws to first. First play, but it's in time. Guerrero's out. And that should end the inning. A home run tied the game. And Hendricks retires the next three from there, and it's Guerrero out in a close play. And the Cubs take the lead three to two. Another hanging slider by Rodriguez. And Pete Coron starting, starting to develop into a talented hitter at the plate, Wayne. Balls one strike as Amaya lifts one out toward left center field. Marshall's back for this one, and that ball is gone. Back to back from the bottom of the Cubs order, and they've taken a 4 2 lead here in the fifth. They're starting to have fun. They're starting to play with confidence at the bottom of that lineup. And this is the guys that need to be impactful, not only to produce, but to be able to turn over the lineup to the big guns. There's a fly ball out toward left. It's uh -oh. way back. Stephen Collin. It's going to by Mr. Spalding. <laughs> Ian Happ is in a home run. Oh, that's it's over cool. now, so drink your big black cow and get out of here. <laughs> Lead. Fantastic. As Ian Happ crushes a home run. That ball was hit way out of it. Two to Leo Jimenez. And it's in the air. Uh-oh. Now 
Well, everybody thought strike three had been called because the balk was called by the third base umpire. So the pitch continued on. Sean Barber called the third strike, but now that's negated. A run is scored on a balk, and now the tying run is at second base. And Springer drives one toward left field. Happ is backing up. It's over his head. It's off the ivy. The game is tied. Springer's in the second base. He's around second, trying for third. The throw from Happ gets cut off. It's a triple, and Springer stays on the bag as he delivers the big blow to tie it up. 5-5 in the line. Makes a mistake with the split finger. Goes right into Springer's wheelhouse, and he does not Side. The lefty Cabrera deals and half first base side foul Guerrero near the Blue Jays dugout reaches in and makes the play barely keeping on his feet. He snatched it out of the lap of someone on the Blue Jays bench and we will go to extra and Suzuki with a long drive base hit to left. Here comes Ian Happ around third. He's headed home and the Cubs win in extras. Seiya Suzuki walks it off and they'll finally get to play the song here at Wrigley Field as the Cubs get a big win. They beat the Blue Jays six to five. He missed that first slider. He wasn't going to miss the second slider. He extended that pitch, hit it through the hole. And the outfielders were playing too far to even have a chance to throw him out at home. The first single of the game for the Cubs. It comes in the 10th inning, and it's a Capital One walk-off and a big sigh of relief in Wrigleyville.